Hey folks, Doxy here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to build my updated darkroom tower under the ground. Now I'm going to assume that you watched my previous video, and if you didn't, the link's over here, and have some sort of idea as to what it is we're working with. And with that I'm just going to get to it. Now the first thing you need to do is figure out where your center point is. And since we're building it underground, go ahead and build a shaft, a giant freaking shaft, however deep that you're willing to go. And you can always expand this later. Right now we're just going to be building three floors, uh, starting with the top floor going down. Now once you build the shaft, I think it's a really, really, really good idea to go ahead and mark where those floors are going to be. And to mark each floor, the way at least the way that I do, uh, I make a three by four high just indent with a one block layer. This is uh, the one block that is the first level, uh, step one of the video tutorial I showed over there, if you remember that. And you do that for however much space that you have. Right now I'm doing three, so that's why you see three indentations on both sides. Now at the topmost level, you want to go ahead and hollow out a space on both sides that are from this block right here, which is the one that you lift, uh, protruding from the rest of your indents, nine in this way, and eight deep. And once you get that done, you'll want to come down and dig out the spaces on both sides which are going to be your main arterials and this area is simply pushing your indentation all the way back eight blocks being sure to leave a ledge here on both sides and once you get that done you want to chisel out your channels on both sides And this floor is more or less done, except for the water. And what you want to do is just continue that all the way down for however many floors that you want, and then fill in your water. Of course, you want to remove your torches and dig this deeper so that your mobs get processed. But as far as a subterranean mob spawning room goes, this is absolutely golden. Now, if you think that you have a pretty good handle on the subterranean mob spawning room, uh, feel free to take a look at one of my other tutorials or the variation uh, that shows you how to build a linear version of this, which also works underground if you want to. Or if you're particularly insane, you can take a look at my other video showing how to light this up so that you can turn mob spawning on and off with the flip of a switch. Again, all this works in survival multiplayer and survival single player. And with that, I'm going to leave you to click the links or be faced with the outro. Right here. Um, oh, that was actually really painless.